Hey, what's up, happy people? Check this out. I got a tangle in the top of my line, but that's okay. We've been out here chasing flounder and ribbon fish and have had so much fun. But you know what? That was so yesterday. Here we are. It's a brand new show. It's a brand new adventure. And I've got a four hook chicken rig. Some people call it a guppy rig. I call it a chicken rig. And I'm after a giant black sea bass. This is where they live. Drop it down to the bottom. We're in about 100 feet of water. There's a bunch of structure here. And we've already caught a bunch of ribbon fish and a big, beautiful flounder. And I thought, you know what? Let's just do a whole nother show. So that's what we're doing right now. My goal is to catch a big black sea bass because they are so good to eat. Okay, so that's what we're fishing. Now imagine this. This bait is going to be down on the bottom like that. It's the good old four hook chicken rig. There you go. What to do? Hey. That's a keeper. That's a keeper, sir. Oh, Polly. Ooh, nice one. Anybody can catch one. I'm trying to catch two at a time here, y'all. <laughs> nice big one, bro. Got a huge front coming down across, like from Michigan, all that area coming across, and it's just getting here now. So we're probably gonna have about a half hour more to fish then we're gonna have to head back because the wind's gonna pick up. Anytime you're offshore fishing, very important that you watch the weather because this ocean is unforgiving and there's plenty of technology out there to watch the weather. Watch it, be ahead of it. Man, what a nice sea bass. Beautiful. He's trying to figure out what's going on. Right on, oh man, nice fish. Literally as soon as it hit the bottom. Now I'm gonna drop it back down to see if I can't get another one on. That's why I've got four hooks on there. There they are. Come on. Keep eating, keep eating, boys. I'm using a little two-watt Gamagatsu circle hook. All right, let's see what we've got here. I mean, I'm out here fishing with my buddy, Jake Hiles. He's got a company called Matador Sport Fishing out of Rudy Inlet, Virginia Beach. This place is amazing. What do we have here? Oh, look at this. Chunk. Let me show y'all what we're working with. Right? That's just an average size fish here. We're allowed 15 per person. This one's going on ice. All right, so we just caught a couple croakers. Now he's gonna strip them up. You know, when you go to a restaurant and you eat good fresh fish, you know it's fresh. You can taste it. Well, these fish out here, they, they live here. This is what they do every day is eat fish. They know what's fresh. So when you catch something and you use fresh bait, game on. Dude, now that right there is what a monster. Almost has the look of a peacock bass, that, that hump on his head. I want him to attack it. There he is. See how I've got one on there? Fight me good. I wanna, I wanna drop it back down. I know it's not good to be greedy, but come on, baby. Ah, that's an icer fish there. Let's see what we got.
What do we have? Oh, I got a whole stringer of them. Look at this. I, I literally got four of them. Check this out, y'all. Hey. <laughs> hey. This man is a master at putting you on the fish. This has been one of those amazing days. We've caught some big, massive sea bass. That's literally just an average size keeper. But uh, we've got a big storm coming in. We've been watching the weather and you can see the leading edge of that front right there. So we're gonna throw this fish on ice. We're gonna pack up. We're gonna head back to Rudy Emmett. We'll see you at the Virginia Beach Fishing Center. This right here is what I consider primo, primo fish to eat. Just take that knife, run it all the way down, right there. Doesn't take a lot of pressure. You just follow that backbone. And take your finger and just Right here. Go right over that rib cage. Done. Now I will show you this. We'll just take your knife. No bloodline. That, my friends, is what they're biting on. Oh. Take this, you can just trim out a little bit of the blood, a little bit of the ribs. Now, look how pretty that is. No bloodline. That's delicious. Hey, guess where we are? We're back in Murphy's Irish Pub here in Virginia Beach. Paul Thigpen, Jake Miles. Now, I came up here on this trip and that was one of my main fish I wanted to catch. Big black sea bass. And when it comes to big black sea bass in Virginia Beach, the most reliable source is Captain Jake on Matador Charters. That's why I called Paul. I was like, look, yeah. we're going to fish for a few days. We're going to have a blast. And I was thinking we were just going to fillet them and cook them as usual because this is one of my favorite fish in the world. While we were fishing, he said, no, 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 no. We're going to do it a little bit different. So what he did was he scaled them, took out their guts, took out their gills, and is going to cook them whole. Jake, take it away, brother. What are you going to do? Here we go. So what we've done was we started, we have a we have a cooking tray here. It's one of these, sorry, uh, one of the ones with the holes in it so that stuff doesn't drain and collect. And we're gonna broil these sea bass. We're gonna do it a little bit of a special way though. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a skewer and we're gonna break a piece of that skewer off of there. This and, is not a magic trick either, this is real. And what we're gonna do with this skewer is, is we're gonna use the skewer to pry the body cavity of this sea bass open. And what that will do is that will allow me to cook this fish in this pan, standing up like this, as if it were swimming in the water. We don't want to cook this fish laying on its side because if you cook it on its side, one side's gonna be sitting on the pan, it's gonna cook unevenly. Doing it like this, the fish cooks evenly. So we've got our, our fish that is sitting upright with the skewer in it and now we're going to season our fish. And we start off with a couple of things. We're gonna put some rosemary on the fish. Just gonna kind of sprinkle Ooh. it on there. Then we're going to put some sea salt on the fish. Do you rub it in or you just sprinkle it on? We're just gonna sprinkle it on there. It's not really a rub or anything like that. Just gonna now we're coming back with some of our J.O. seasoning. 
Jo, this is a very, very, very predominant seasoning up here on the crabs. It was remarkable, incredible. And so now we have sea salt, rosemary, and Jo on here. And we're gonna go ahead and take our fish and put it into the pan. This is the trick with this. This is why we wanted this fish to be standing up. So we're going to take this fish's fins and we're gonna pull them up like this. And then we're going to take a strip of butter and feed it right onto those fins. So this thing is going to be sitting in there broiling and as it's broiling, this butter is going to shower down over it. We're gonna take a couple of slices of lemon, put it on the, on the peck fins, just resting there. That's it. We're gonna broil this for 15 to 20 minutes, 350 degrees. You'll know that this is done when the eyes, you see the eyes right here, they'll start steaming and you'll see a white ball inside of there. Just look at how amazing that is. Four beautiful sea bass. Would you call these medium, large, or small? Uh, they're small, medium. They're <laughs> big enough to be legal, but they're not very, they're not huge ones. And really, we don't want to do this kind of recipe with the huge ones because really, uh, this is like a single serving kind of thing. And if you give somebody a four or five pound sea bass, who's gonna eat that Exactly. So, it's gonna go straight in the oven here at 350 degrees. Wonderful. When that thing beeps, we'll take a look at it. They should be done, but you can tell by looking at that eyeball, like I was saying. I now, I'll let you know when they're done. Before we show eating this, I want y'all to know if you want to enjoy any of this amazing food, you can, if you're here in Virginia Beach, you can come here. This is Murphy's Irish Pub. Fantastic people. They're, it's owned by a man who loves fishing and understands the commercial industry, buys fresh fish, fresh shellfish from all local he, watermen. Uh, um, he owns an aquaculture farm. He grows his own oysters in his restaurant. And he actually did have a, uh, an operation that we would have been crabbing on today, but uh, he purchased the crabbing operation from him a couple oh, of weeks wow. ago. But uh, yeah. he, Tom is one of the few, Tom Mooney that owns Murphy's, he's one of the few restaurant owners that actually provides his customers with real, fresh, hook and line caught domestic seafood. That's so cool, man. And you can tell, like when you're out here, this, this is just, if you're in Virginia Beach, come check out Murphy's. It would be worth your while to come here. This place is awesome. Flat out does not get any better than that. I want to get some of the skin with some of the seasoning on there. It's how juicy it is. It is so juicy. I'm not kidding you. That's on point. Wow. That's on point. What do you think? It's my recipe, you know. What I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. I swear I said 127. I knew it was coming. This whole trip, this whole series, if you've been following along on our adventure here in Virginia Beach, you see how awesome this place it's is. It's been amazing. Over Except the one top. One of my favorite trips we've been on. Yeah. Amazing. Right? Had a great time. Captain Jake Hiles, Matador Sport Fishing Charters. This is Chef Lester from Murphy's Irish Pub. I mean, I got to say thank you so much to the Virginia Beach Fishing Center. They've been nothing but kind to yeah. us. Everywhere we've been, eating, fellowshipping, just spending time with people. This place is amazing, and that fish is some of the best I've ever put in my mouth in my entire life. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Thank you for what you do for my family and I. I appreciate the love, the support, and the kindness. But that's all I got for today. Take care. God bless, and we go.